U.S. cites war laws as Russia threatens detained American vets. A every fighter claiming to be a lawful combatant is entitled to a hearing to discover whether their actions breached the rules of war, such as not wearing a uniform or insignia while participating in military activities, said Mary Ellen O'Connell, a professor of international law at Notre Dame. Rachel Denver, deputy head of Human Rights Watch's Europe and Central Asia section, said if their status as POWs is in dispute, a competent tribunal must decide. No such tribunal exists. In an interview with NBC News, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said Drew Eke and Hein are still under investigation. Peskov still called them warriors of fortune. The statements were Moscow's first on the arrested Americans after Russian media broadcast a video showing them chained, blindfolded, and fearing death. Washington criticized Peskov's remarks. European leaders accuse Russia of seeking to divert from serious war crimes in Ukraine. They suspect Moscow may be planning a prisoner swap for Russian troops guilty of rape, murder, or other severe crimes during President Putin's four-month invasion of Ukraine. An unarmed 62-year-old man was shot and killed in May, and a captured Russian soldier was given a life sentence by a Ukrainian court. Merrick Garland launched a war crimes accountability team during an unexpected trip to Kyiv on Tuesday. The Ukrainian military surprised the better equipped Russians by beating back a week's long onslaught around Kyiv, but now confronts an expanding conflict in the east. According to the UN Human Rights Office, at least 4,597 civilians, including more than 300 children, have been murdered in Ukraine since February 24. The true death toll is certainly far higher. A day after the Kremlin stated two American soldiers detained by pro-Russian troops in Ukraine committed war crimes and may face the death sentence, the Biden administration voiced indignation and urged on Russia to comply by international law. Alexander Drueke, 39, and Andy Hine, 29, volunteered to fight for the Ukrainian government, according to the State Department. The U.S. is in communication with the families of the two Alabama men and the Red Cross, the agency said.